So we're gonna, how do we know when we have a cavity? Because unless we've got sort of throbbing pain and you're literally crying on the floor, you may not know what's happening. Uh, I mean, this is my biggest, this is one thing that my patients tell, tell me when I tell them that there's a cavity. The first thing they say is, well, I haven't felt any discomfort. Nothing's hurt me. Right. But nine times out of ten, I would say uh, somebody who has a cavity will not know that they have a cavity. Really? So you're not necessarily going to be writhing around on the floor in pain? No. No, in those one, that 10% of people right. probably feel some sensitivity. It's usually a little sensitivity to cold or sensitivity to sugar, okay. chocolate, gummy bears. Gummy bears always zing me if I've got a cavity. So, right. um, but those, but mainly they're not going to have any symptoms um, t that's going to let them know that there's a cavity. Okay. Now, if they have a, a bigger cavity that, that needs more than just a filling, right. they'll know it. Yeah. Well, you'd probably be able to feel it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, okay, so um, we we have not known that we've got a cavity. That's why the regular checkups are so important, right? Yeah, and that's why... Well, sorry, I was going to say, what are the dangers of leaving that go? What's going to happen inside your mouth? It could turn nasty, couldn't it? If you do have a cavity and you just, I don't know, and I'm not going to do anything about it. Yeah, I mean, there's people that would say, well, I don't have any issues, nothing's bothering me, so I don't need to go see the dentist. Right. And I would say, I would warn, warn people about that, that we can catch the cavities when they're small by taking x-rays, right. by doing an exam. If you wait until something hurts, usually it's, now we're talking root canals and extractions, the places we don't want to go. So if we can, if we can ch catch these things while they're small, we can just go ahead and put a filling in and you should be good to go with okay. the filling. So now what kind of uh, fillings are we talking about? You s you've mentioned the white fillings. Yeah, typically that's what we use almost exclusively as white fillings. Yeah. And so that's a material that's actually bonded to the tooth. We use a bond. And so imagine essentially a glue that sticks this, this material to your tooth and it's white. We match the shade to your tooth and, and we can shape it that way as well. Okay. You were going to show us something on the x-ray, I think, from uh, this inside out point of view. Yeah, so this is, this is an x-ray showing uh, where a filling has been done. So there's been a cavity here, a filling has been done here, a filling has been done here. You can see those and those uh, fillings are that white material been bonded on and it should prevent that tooth from having any uh, problems and you can see these are pretty small yeah. uh, a filling is not is not permanent they can get it can get decay and bacteria around the outside of this where the bond was that's kind of the weak spot so we can get decay around those fillings so that's another reason why it's important to that we get you in take x-rays so we can continue to evaluate these to make sure we're not having decay around the filling if it gets too close to the nerve, you'll end up in a situation where none of us really like to be, and that's probably when we're talking about the R word and a, and a root canal. So <laughs> we can try and avoid that by just regular checkups and, and following up on those fillings. So basically, are, are we thinking that um, sometimes you can avoid going as far as a root canal if we've got the cavity and we've got the home care and everything else taken care of? Absolutely. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. So yeah, he's right. We never want to go to the R word. <laughs> That's hysterical. Uh, root canals, I've had them. They're not fun. So this is definitely the way to go. Dr. Wagner, tell us where we are here at uh, Aspen Dental. Our address is 1451 North, 200 East, and that's just north of the Cache Valley Mall. So there you go. There you have it. You don't want to let it go too far. Come on in here uh, to Aspen Dental and see Dr. Wegener and the other guys, and they'll help you out. Thank you. Thank you.